So we, we think it would be very exciting to have a base on the moon, um, e even if it's just a science base. Um, that you know, we have, for example, we have a base uh, at, at Antarctica. Many many countries have bases in Antarctica for science research, and this would be an incredible area of research. Um, so whether or not people want to live on the moon, there's definitely a lot of science to be done. Um, and uh, I think this is, it's close as well. Um, so that's, that would be quite exciting to do. And then, of course, uh, we can go other, to other places in the solar system, like Saturn. Uh, and, uh, the, but the, the critical thing that we need to focus on, I think, is the fastest path to a self-sustaining city on Mars. This is, the, this is the fundamental thing. You know, as, as far as we know, as far as we know, we are the only consciousness or the only life that's out there. There might be other life, but we've seen no signs of it. And you know, people often ask me, if you, what, do you, what do you know about the aliens and that? And I'm like, man, I tell you, if I'm pretty sure I'd know, you know, if there were aliens. I have not seen any sign of aliens. Um, and uh, so like, well, is the military hiding aliens in Area 51 or something, you know? Um, that's a popular meme. Um, it, it, well, let me tell you, it, the, the, biggest, the fastest way to increase defense funding would be to bring out, like, hey, we found an alien. People are like, ah, more money for defense, definitely. <laughs> this is guaranteed. They would try to, that would be, like, on display in two seconds. So, um, yeah, so, so the... the, the the reality is, as far as we know, uh, this is the only place, at least in this part of the galaxy or in the, in the Milky Way, where there is consciousness. And it's taken a long time for us to get to this point. You know, according to the, the geological records, Earth's been around for about four and a half billion years, although it's mostly molten magma for about a half a billion years. So, but still, several billion years with um, at least bacterial life and multicellular life for several hundred million years. Um, but, but here's the interesting part, like it, it, the, the, the sun is gradually getting hotter and bigger. And over time, uh, even in the absence of, of global warming, um, man-made stuff, the, the, the sun will um, expand and it will, it will overheat the earth. M my guess is probably, this is on, 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 on human time scales, this is a long time, but it's, there's only you know several hundred million years left. That's all. That's all we got. Okay, several hundred million years. Um, but but it, but th thought of in if, from an uh, evolutionary standpoint, um, basically if if it took an extra 10% longer for conscious life to evolve on Earth, it wouldn't evolve at all because it would have been incinerated by the sun. So, so the, what I'm saying is that it it's, it appears that consciousness is a very rare and precious thing and we should take whatever steps we can to preserve the light of consciousness and the window the window has been open only now after four and a half billion years is that window open that's that's a long time to wait and it might not stay open for long I, I'm pretty optimistic by nature but there's some chance there's some chance that window will not be open for long and I think we should become a multi planet civilization while that window is open. And if we do, I think the probable outcome for Earth is even better, if, because then, you know, Mars could help Earth one day. You know, and so I think we should really do our very best to become a multi-planet species and to extend consciousness beyond Earth. And we should do it now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.